on today's episode of the Cryptoverse. It is finally time to access your Bitcoin gold. All of that coming up in today's episode of the Cryptoverse, so stay right there. Hi there guys, welcome to the latest episode of the Cryptoverse, your regular dose of news and commentary on Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies and blockchains. I'm your host, Chris Coney. So let's start by having a quick look at the Bitcoin gold price chart. The price has almost doubled in the last few days, but it's still way off its all-time highs here. Today the price is like $239, and the all-time high according to this chart was $478. You know, some people will have left their Bitcoin on an exchange, when the snapshot happened, and that means they were able to trade their Bitcoin gold immediately, whereas I'm more conservative, patient, or cautious, whatever you want to call it. And as regular users will probably know, I store my main Bitcoin holdings in a Ledger Nano S hardware wallet, so I'm assuming you took my advice and had your Bitcoin in your Ledger wallet when the Bitcoin gold snapshot was taken. If not, this video is going to be completely irrelevant to you, and you should probably start watching it right about now. If you don't have a Ledger hardware wallet, then click on my referral link in the video description. Get yourself one right now, and then support the Cryptoverse at the same time. So step one, make sure you have the latest version of the Ledger Bitcoin wallet app installed. So to do that, what we do is, I'll open up a new tab here, click on Google Chrome apps, which you can access just by typing into your address bar in Google Chrome, chrome colon forward slash forward slash apps. And here is the Ledger Bitcoin wallet. So open up that right now. And then, of course, to get this to activate, I have to open up the um, app on my device, which I'm doing right now. There we go. Then I'll hop over to just any old Bitcoin wallet. doesn't really matter. And then if I click on settings right here, it tells you what version you've got. And you should have version 1.9. 0.9 or higher. I have version 1.9.10, so I'm good. Step two is to make sure your Ledger hardware wallet has a firmware version that is version 1.3.1 or higher. So to check that, you have to use the buttons on your device. So quit any apps that you have open. So you get back to the main menu. So quit app. That gets me back to the main menu. Then you go down and select the settings on the device. Open that up. Go down to device, select that, and then select firmware. And as you can see on mine, it says secure element 1.3.1. So I'm good to proceed. Now, step three is to install the Bitcoin Gold app on your Ledger device. So to do that, you need to close the Bitcoin Wallet app on your computer. You might still have this open when you check the version number. So on my computer, I'll close this Wallet app and then I'll go to the Chrome apps once again. And this time I'll open the Ledger Manager app. Now on my computer, the Bitcoin Gold app, it appears at the bottom of the list. Right down here, under Neo, we have Bitcoin Gold. So you just click this green download button. And the first time I tried this, I got an error message saying that the storage on my Ledger device was full. And that meant I had to delete my Litecoin app temporarily to free up some space. Now it's okay to remove apps because it doesn't affect your coins. You just reinstall that app later on. To remove an app on your Ledger wallet, you just go click on the relevant delete button next to the relevant wallet here, and then you can just reinstall it later on. Once you've installed the Bitcoin Gold app, it should appear in the main menu on your Ledger hardware wallet. So if I go right back to the main menu here, back, go back again, quit the settings app. If I move to the right, I have a Bitcoin app, and now I have a Bitcoin Gold app as well. So I'm going to open up that Bitcoin Gold app on my device. Now you can close the Ledger Manager app on your computer and then go back to the Chrome apps and once again open up the 
Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. Then click on the BTG Split tool, which is hidden just down here. Now, when the Bitcoin Gold snapshot was taken, I had my Bitcoin in my SegWit wallet. So I'm going to choose SegWit. And because I've already done this once already, it went straight in. However, the first time you do this, you'll need to wait for the wallet to sync, which may take you know, a number of minutes. Once it's synced, though, boom, you're done. You now have access to your Bitcoin Gold to spend or to send to an exchange if you wanted to sell them. And you use this just like any other Bitcoin wallet. And before we go today, just another quick reminder that you have until Friday to book tickets to my live event that is on Sunday, the 3rd of December. After that, we're going to launch our advertising campaigns to the wider public. And we only have 26 tickets left. So if you want to attend this, I would get a move on. All righty then, guys. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you like this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new around here, get subscribed. And if you would like access to my very best material, such as my step-by-step -step online courses that will teach you things like how to make and save money with Bitcoin, check out my website, which is cryptoversity.com. Click on the courses section and you can take any one of these online courses that were made by my own fair hands. But that's all for today. I'll be back tomorrow with another episode of the Cryptoverse. So until then, it's me, Chris Coney, saying bye for now.